Hi everyone. Today I'll be talking to you about how I store my Planner Society kits. Let's start with the washi tapes. My hubby built me this washi tape rack. It's quite large. Um, I'm not sure how many washi tapes it holds, but I still have quite a few um, rings to go through. So with the washi tapes, I have labeled these um, in month order. Uh, I've labeled the, the rack as well as the washi tapes so that I know um, if I take a washi tape out, I'll know which rack to put it or which rung to put it back on. Um, but as you can see, I have every single uh, washi tape from the Planner Society since probably the beginning of time. I just love washi tape. And I'm, I love how these are on display and they are at arm's reach any time I need to use them. As for the pens, I have this really awesome pen holder, which actually rotates. Um, I have these separated from the crowns to the diamonds and with the crystals. And last but not least, I have um, the gel pens and that style pen and the skinny ones um, from the earlier kits. The stickers I keep in the Planner Society sticker books. Um, I only subscribe to one kit so I have acquired quite a few of these through D stashes because I do like to keep all of the Planner Society stickers in Planner Society sticker books. So let's start with these small books. Christy used to have the stickers in small sizes. So I do keep, um, I do have a few of these little ones. The small size stickers are no longer available. She has them in bigger sizes now. But all of the small ones go in there. Also, in the beginning, Christy had the stickers in a larger size, um, but also they were wider. I have the stickers and I do label them by month and year so that I know um, which month and year they came from. I do also subscribe to the sticker kits and I do keep them in the bigger sizes because they are bigger than the stickers that come in the actual kit. Um, I organize these by how I use them. So I use the days um, quite regularly. Um, I'll also use the words quite regularly as well. Um, and the to do's. So yeah, that's how I organize these in order of how I would use them. In March 2018, Christy changed the layout of the stickers. They no longer come in the wide uh, sticker pages. They are now in a taller, narrower sticker page. Uh, she brought out these uh, sticker books also in March 2018, um, which now carries the new stickers. However, the sticker kits are still in the old sized uh, wide um, wide sticker pages so they still fit in the old 
um, sticker books. So I do collect these sticker books and I do use them. And that's how I store my stickers. The papers and the kits are stored in this cupboard. I keep the papers in the cupboards and also the kits in binders. The papers come in A4 binders and I use um, paper pockets to, to store them. Let me show you. So the papers I do keep in A4 folders. I have um, monthly tabs. Let me show you. So they, I have monthly tabs to keep a note of which month these papers come from. And to keep tabs of the year, I just use a label maker to put the year um, of the papers, which works really well for me. Um, with the specialty papers, with the label maker, I just use... Um, I just put down what it is uh, and also the year because the papers are already in the monthly tabs. The kits, however, are stored in albums. These are 12 by 12 albums that I just bought from Kayser Craft or you can get any scrapbooking 12 by 12 album from any probably from Michael's or Hobby Lobby and I use plastic pockets where you have a six by four two six by fours at the top two six by fours on the bottom and then I think you have um, smaller pockets in the middle and I find that these are really good to hold the kits together. I do label these also um, for month and year so that I keep um, so that I I know what month and year these these come from. So basically all the kits um, live in here and they all fit. Uh, which, and it keeps it all together as well, which I, which I absolutely love because you can have all the kits at a glance in plastic pockets and they're all organized um, really, really well. So I'm really happy with how these turned out. However, Christy has... Um, since the beginning of this year, 2019, Christy has changed the kit somewhat in that she has now, um, instead of monthly kits, we now get bi-monthly kits. And we also receive um, different products. Uh, so the kits are, um, there are more products in the kits in the bi-monthly kits than they, there was in the monthly kits. So I find that this, uh, that storing the kits in this album is no longer viable because the new kits have um, bigger items in them. For example, that these will fit in the album in the smaller pockets this will fit in the bigger pockets that will fit in the bigger pockets i will use that so um, i'm not worrying about that uh, this will probably fit in the bigger pockets but these will not so this this notepad that won't fit these are the new tabs and they won't fit so all of these the bigger items they won't fit in in this album so i'm going to have to find another way to store these um i will find a way but I'd, one thing is i do like to keep the kits together um so that they're easy to um 
that they're easy to access when I am crafting or decorating my planner. That's why um, the stickers are all together, uh, the pens are all together and the washi are all together. I'd like to keep the same system for the kits. However, with the bigger items that it's not any longer viable. So I have to find another way to store these kits. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Bye for now.